Hey guys, Nick here with Queen City Scooters. Um, just making a quick video today uh, for you Super 73 riders that are new to uh, that are new to the hobby on how to uh, check and even possibly, if needed, replace your uh, brake pads. It's a pretty simple process, so don't get intimidated. As long as you pay attention closely to the few steps, you'll be a-okay. All right, so me, we have a client Super 73. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this uh, tripod down so you can see a little better here. All right, so customer actually isn't even sure whether they need new brakes. Um, claims he has about 600 miles on it, I think he said. So we told him we'd be happy to go ahead and, you know, just check them out and see if, you know, new, new replacements were needed or not. So. We have our uh, our uh, certified Tektro uh, brake pads here, just in case they're needed. So first thing you can do, without even having to remove the whole uh, brake assembly, is you can just pry out uh, the uh, lock pin here. So you can use a uh, you can use a small flat head screwdriver to pull it, you know, as as much of the way as possible. Then you want to grab the looped end while using your screwdriver to bend over the uh, the um, locked side of it. All right, as everything falls off the seat. All right, so now we've got that pin out. Now what we can do is actually don't come out that way so yes you are going to have to completely remove it right. in case you can't tell my first time uh, doing this for a customer um, that's not a a uh, cause for red flag or anything brake systems are pretty much uh, the same across all vehicles so Go ahead and loosen the brake mount bolts. Now, if you get a couple turns in them, you should just be able to undo it the rest of the way by hand. All right. Just lost the space for the washer. I'll have to find that in a second. Okay, so now that we've taken that safety pin out, we can actually push the brakes straight out. The reason I was confused is because on some vehicles, you can actually pull them up through the top here. There's a much bigger opening. So uh, these brake pads actually still have some wear on them. We can, uh, I'll open up this new pack so that you can see the difference between the wear and what's on these new ones. So this guy has barely even used his brakes, right? I mean, he's got about 600 miles, so he's probably got a pretty easy riding style. Um, for, you know, the, I mean, I, as I'm sure you're aware, you know, riding styles differ from person to person. Some people really like to, you know, accelerate hard and brake hard, and so your brake pads are gonna burn a lot faster. So at this point, I'm not going to recommend changing these out. There's still probably a couple thousand miles left on these, the way that he rides. So we'll go ahead and put these back in. And uh, we'll do the same thing to check the front brakes. But that's really all that's involved in it. I mean, it's, it's a really simple process. Super 73 has done a pretty good job about uh, keeping their vehicles relatively easy to work on. Um, that's uh, that's uh, something I certainly give them props for because there are a lot of vehicles that come through my uh, service shop that <laughs> are not that easy to work on. So we'll go ahead and reinstall these into the caliper. Always easier said than done. Always. So now once you've got them pushed all the way up in there, you take your needle nose 
and take a little bit of that bend out of the um, out of the lock pin, just to make it uh, a, a little easier for reinsertion. Send it all the way through. Have to spin it around a few times, you know, to to get it to go the whole way through. And then you can take your needle nose, grab the very end of it, like so, really tightly, and just bend back. All right. And as you do, you pull against it. You're pulling against this side here while you're bending that. So now those brakes are securely in the caliper. And we can go ahead and reinstall them now. I'm pretty sure I lost the spacer washer when I took those off. So I'm gonna roll this forward. There it is. Okay. So these are typically used for the back end, um, just to raise the caliper up a little bit so that you know the when the disc comes around. The uh, divots in the disc don't catch the top of the brake caliper. So, let's go ahead and put that there. Now, I, I love my business, but there is certainly something to be said for having your patients tried. It happens on a regular basis. So I'm not going to tighten these down all the way because as I'll show you in a second, you're going to want to be able to make an adjustment there um, for um, the uh, wheel rotation so that it's not constantly rubbing up against the uh, brake disc. So we can still move this pretty easily. So I'm, I'm happy with that tightness there. And to test it, what I'm gonna do is I'm carefully just gonna pull the bike up on its kickstand. And I'm gonna spin it around. I don't hear the uh, brake disc rubbing up against the pads. So, while holding the, the uh, brake caliper down, I'm gonna start tightening the screws. Now you see it just shifted there. We don't want that. Test it again. Okay, still have good clearance. Those are back in place. Uh, it's the same thing for the front on the Super 73. The only difference with the brakes is I'm sure you've already noticed, having been riding your bike for a while, that the brakes are actually disted or actually mounted on, at a sideways angle. So that's that's the only difference. So that's the only difference between front and rear mounted brakes. So. Uh, the customer just wanted us to look over this uh, bike. I mean, now I have friends, I, I ride in a pack every day, and I have friends that have thousands and thousands of miles on their Super 73s. In fact, I think I have one guy, um, what did he tell me? It's like approaching like 25,000 miles or something. I mean, something ridiculous. I mean, he's just, I mean, he is, avid rider. In fact, I asked him if he had quit his job and all he did was ride ride his bike around. I'm like, how the hell do you put 25,000 miles on a Super 73? I was like, damn. So, anyways, um, other things uh, just to kind of check out when you're wanting to give your bike a health check. Um, you can go ahead and stand in front of, and you, and you will have noticed that there was an issue here just by kind of uh, 
you know, just by the way they rode, but if you, if you want to test your suspension out, just kind of, yeah, I'm just going to that for camera focus. If you just kind of stand in front of the bike, you can push up and down on, on it, you know, as long as there's good resistance there, the suspension's good. Um, you want to, uh, another thing you want to check is the condition of your chain. All right, so, I mean, this chain looks very healthy. When I run my fingers over it, I don't get a lot of grime off of it, so that's good. There's no signs of rust on it, so this guy probably doesn't ride in moisture very much. Another good thing. So nothing needs to be done with that. It's not, it doesn't hurt if you have some three-in-one oil. If when you check out your bike, you just want to, you know, drop that. As you turn, as you can sit there and pull it up on, pull it up on the kickstand, and then as you turn the crank, have to take off, take off your chain guard. And as you turn the crank, just drop some drops of that three-in-one oil on there. And that'd be good. Or you can take a WD-40; works even better. Um, you can check your uh, motor. You can check your uh, your motor cable connection. Make sure it's good and tight. Zip ties are in good condition. All right. Now, this guy has actually installed a uh, a seat. Um, or I guess a different style seat, right? And so one thing that he complained to me about, that's really loose. So he asked me if we could get up in there and tighten it down. So we'll do that for him. Um, other than that, I'm going to give this, uh, I'm going to give this particular bike a, uh, passing grade. It seems perfectly fine to me. Nothing, uh, alarming or cause for concern. So those are just the type of things that you want to keep an eye out for. You can also, uh, make sure that all your weather caps are on your plug and play connectors that aren't used. All right. So, I mean, that, that's another thing that Super 73 is good about is providing these, um, these weather caps. Um, so make sure all your connections are firm, stuff like that. Just common sense. So hope this was a help to you. If you're new to uh, riding a super 73, um, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them in the comment section below. Um, and subscribe button, click the uh, bell icon so that you get a reminder whenever we come out with a new video and, uh, you guys remember ride safe, watch out for pedestrians. Watch out for vehicles. Just because you see them doesn't mean they see you. Again, ride safe, and we'll see you soon. Queen City Scooters, ride like royalty.